Yo, it's Peter Mo. So today I'll be reviewing Le Codfather based on Kites Lake Road, just off Stratford Road. So I believe these are one of the first people to actually do the barbecue donut and the spicy donut on a grill. So I'm super excited to try it out. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel for your regular food review video. And also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the review. So we just got the food now and what we ended up going for was a beef burger, donut meat and chips and fish and chips. Uh, everything looks so good, it smells so nice as well. That's my alarm going off, let me pause that for a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the beef burger first. This was £3 on its own, decent price, let's see what it's about Bismillah. Mm. So that's a pretty decent burger actually, it's got a decent amount of flavour in it, it's a little bit salty for some reason, I'm not too sure why, it doesn't have any sauces to be honest, the guy didn't even ask me, and uh, lettuce salad wise, no salad as well, to be honest I don't know if that's my fault, the guy didn't ask me, um, beef patty tastes a little bit meaty but it isn't really that thick, I do expect it to be a little bit more thicker, nevertheless though it's actually a pretty decent burger because you could really taste the quality, not bad start. I am now going to move on to the fish and chips, this looks so so good and to be honest I have tried it before, if you've not watched my top 5 fish and chip spots in Birmingham then you're missing out, go ahead and watch that first and then come back and watch this, let's see what the fish is about Bismillah Mmm Ah oh. Yo, this is one of the best fish and chips you could probably get in Birmingham, it's so so good, really good quality fish, super flaky as well, quite thick, the butter is lovely, really really tasty and it's actually pretty golden as well, so they haven't overdone it, so really really nice, top marks for this fish. One thing I love about this fish is that it's soft but it's got a bit of a crispiness to it, I don't know what happened to my voice there, <laughs> it's soft and it's got a little bit of a crispiness to it and I think... Huh? It broke. It broke. No, but um, yeah, I don't think you could get any better than that. And now finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, I know I look orange, but it's getting dark outside, so need to quickly bang this review up. I'm now going to move on to the donut. This is a barbecue donut. They do give you three different flavours. They give you spicy, they give you donut. No, that doesn't make sense. They give you spicy, they give you barbecue, and they give you lemon and herbs. I don't know who'd want lemon and herb donut. I can't even imagine that being nice. So I've gone for the barbecue because I believe that's what they're originally known for. Let's see what this donut is about, Bismillah. Yo, I'm going to go as far as saying that is probably the best donut I've ever had. It is so good, so meaty, I love the char on it and to be honest it's not as juicy as your normal donut because they put it on the grill but honestly I think that is top marks for me. donut has got loads of flavour and the barbecue gives a bit of a sweetness to it, really really nice especially if you got it with hot chilli and mayo. To be honest I can't remember the price on it, I think it was £4 but if it was £4, £4 for all of that. You cannot go wrong, really good portion, really good quality donut, meaty donut, the chips are lovely as well, really cannot complain about it. So we just finished eating and yo, there was a really really good tasty food, I can't believe I've never had that donut before but I'm definitely going back. So for my overall review, the price wasn't actually too bad, I think the fish and chips was a little bit pricey, the burger price was three pounds that wasn't too bad but i don't think it was worth it to be honest the burger out of five i'd probably give it about a three to be honest probably even lower than that to be honest it was good quality but there was nothing special about it um the fish and chips i'd give that a high score i'd probably give that about a 4.3 out of five really really tasty and the donor mm -mm -mm, i'd give that about a 4.3 4 out of 5. So overall, I'd probably give Le Codfather out of 5 a 3.8. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.